Hi Capricorn, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your tarot reading for June 2018. Now it is a general reading so take from it what you will. Uh, please use your own intuition and guidance in terms of what resonates with you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances where you get to answer the specific questions that uh, you'd like answered by the tarot and oracle. Um, I'm going to put the link on this video and in the description box below. You can just pop over to my website to book one of those. Now, if you'd like to win a personal reading with me, uh, if you uh, head over to my website and subscribe to my blog, which is free, you go into the uh, monthly competition to win a 30-minute personal reading with me. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's get started with your reading. So first up, we're going to be doing love and romance. So I'm going to be pulling you a card from the... Uh, Heart and Soul Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. So this can actually uh, pertain to your heart and soul energy or romance. We'll see what comes out, yeah? Mm. All right. Wow. You've actually pulled two. You're the first sign that's pulled two. There's one hiding behind the other. All right, you've got this one here, which is just gorgeous. And it's either, uh, it's either the sun or the moon reflecting on the water and lots of love hearts flying around dare i say um and you've also pulled this one which is a massive love heart oh gorgeous all right all right let's have a look at this one first and what it says capricorn is a beautiful inspired idea floats through pathways of light waiting for the right moment to enter your mind and heart this wonderful idea that stems from your soul will grow and blossom if you nurture it keep the Keep it safe within your inner world until it's ready to manifest in your outer world. A period of great fulfillment and accomplishment follows. How cool. Mm. I've also got this one, which says, so beautiful. That you are dearly loved is an eternal truth. For in the grand cosmic scheme of things, only love is real and only love will remain forever within our hearts. Love does not judge you, it, it just unconditionally loves you. It is the true wisdom of consciousness. Seek shelter in love and you shall hear the song of spirit and be guided by its sacred sound. Oh my God, how gorgeous is that? All right. Let's, uh, let's pull you some love and romance guidance from the Romance Angel Deck by Doreen Virtue. Let's see what you need to know, Capricorn, in June. Now, this can be for singles and couples. Uh, for singles, you're calling in your soulmate, yeah? So uh, if you've been manifesting and trying to draw that uh, love relationship to you, just know that your prayers, your affirmations have been heard and it is bringing the pair of you together. Mm. You've also pulled the flirt card, which is all about having fun, yeah? Um, letting people know that you're single, that you're interested. Um, if there's a cutie that you're interested in, let them know. They're probably totally oblivious. Um, it's about having some light-hearted fun in your love relationships. Bring out that cheeky side, Capricorn. Mm. And uh, for those of you that are in new love, you're in the getting to know each other phase, yeah, which is all about revealing more about yourself to each other, being emotionally vulnerable. When you do that, the bond deepens, yeah. And if you're in a committed relationship and you're not opening up to your partner, it's time that you did so that you deepen that bond, yeah. Just don't hold yourself back. All right, what else do you need to know, Capricorn? Someone wants to come out. Okay, so you pull the forgiving and the learning. Not going to apply to everyone. This is really about learning from the past, from past relationships that haven't quite worked out. Uh, when you take the time to do this, and it's really about self-love, self-nurturing when you go through this process and being responsible for self and knowing that, one, you chose that partner and how you showed up in that relationship. When you actually look at it from that perspective, when you take the emotional side out of it, You'll actually learn some things about yourself that are perhaps tripping you up in love relationships. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to let those go and uh, not take them into the next relationship. Or if you're in a relationship right now and things are tripping you up, it's often worthwhile to just to do a little bit of reflection on past relationships. 
Are there any patterns tripping you up? Often it can be karmic stuff. If you want to learn more about that, how to release it, how to get it out of your love relationships, uh, I'm going to put the link on this video. I've done a four-part video series on how to attract a soulmate partnership, yeah? Most of it is about recognising the behaviours that are self-sabotaging, how to set healthy boundaries, particularly if you've got weak boundaries. Also, how to uh, build yourself up a little bit more with self-love and self-worth activities um, and how to draw that soulmate partnership in and how to let go of the past, yeah? I'll pop that link on this video. Go and check it out. All right, I'm going to pull you one more card. Mm. All right. You pulled the honeymoon card. If you're in a relationship, time to take some time out for the pair of you and just go and have some fun and adventure and uh, rekindle that love relationship, the passion. If you're in a new relationship, possibly might want to book a holiday together, a uh, weekend away, find couple time, yeah? Time for each other. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Nature's uh, Whispers deck. I pulled this one out today because I just felt like we needed some gentle energy for June. Now let's see what you need to know, Capricorn. Mm. This is actually sitting under your beautiful idea. So for those of you that uh, have a bit of an entrepreneurial backbone, business brain, it could even be to do with your career or even something you want to do in the side, right? higher ground so it's about getting into a perspective of looking from above bigger picture thinking um see where you can take that idea yeah also if you're having any difficulties or challenges in your life right now it's about taking a more rational perspective and kind of looking at it from third party perspective because it's going to give you more insight into what's actually going on when you take the emotions out of it yeah let's pull you on more what else does Capricorn need to know? Mm. Holding on to it. Get a clear message, please. There we go. Mm. Wow. It's a lot here about your vision. Culmination of vision. So this is you getting clarity about what it is that you want to achieve in your life, your big picture view, yeah? Um, if you want to do something great, you know exactly what it is, yeah? Take the steps you're guided to take. Don't let fear hold you back. Take a leap of faith towards that vision. Um, gorgeous. Not going to apply to everybody. Definitely some of you. Can't even be to do with your career. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. This is all about your general energies, anything you need to know in terms of any aspect of your life, really. just depends what comes out. Oh, I'm sorry, flew out. Mm, okay. You pulled Kun Yin, compassion. I'm going to say to you, this is compassion for yourself. This is self-love, um, building up your self-worth. Forgiving yourself for stuff from the past, letting it go. Just know that you're dearly loved, that you're worthy of love. Um, it's about building up your confidence. Yeah, yeah. Appreciating all parts of yourself because you are amazing. Just saying. And if you don't feel amazing, you need to do a little bit of work on that. Oh, this is gorgeous. You pulled Sedina, infinite supply. If you've been worrying about your finance been worrying about anything stop worrying this is divine protection saying that uh, all of your todays and your tomorrows are going to be looked after yeah yeah beautiful all right what else do you need to know capricorn oh yeah i actually said this tonight aim take a leap of faith be daring and take risks in terms of what it is that you want to accomplish, following your heart's desires, um, turning them into a reality. Beautiful. It's also sitting under the flirt card about taking a risk, yeah, in terms of love as well. Okay. 
a full demara guiding children. So this could be your own children, it could be your partner's children, it could be also to do with a life path, life purpose, yeah? Basically says that you've got the compassionate skills, the listening skills, the healing skills to be able to um, help children, yeah, and guide them. Beautiful. Um, you've also pulled Bridget, don't back down, stand up for yourself. Um, I'm going to say to you, this is about not only your life path, life purpose, um, it's about who you are, putting healthy emotional boundaries in place with people, protecting yourself. Um, yeah, it's about self-love, really. Having, having great people in your circle that are positive and support you. But also, if you've got hopes and dreams, following those hopes and dreams, you don't need to apologise to them or make excuses for them. To anyone, you own them. Mm, beautiful. Uh, you've got Sula's bodies of water. Uh, it's actually sitting under the honeymoon card, dare I say, which is a boat, a boat sitting. Uh, it looks like the, like the uh, canals in France, doesn't it, or uh, Venice. Uh, so if you want to take that time out, it's just saying do it in your water. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. It also means that if you have any. Uh, Anxiety, you need anything to do with relaxation in June, do it in your bodies of water. It's going to rejuvenate you, yeah. You're going to be able to release your stresses out there. Not sure where you are in the world, let me know where you are. Sometimes you might not be near any water. So if you're not near any water, uh, find somewhere beautiful in nature. You can spend some time in there. Mm. Under compassion, coin in. So in terms of dealing with stress this month, if any of you are going through worry and stress, bodies of water, compassionate for yourself, yeah. You've also just pulled spirits quartz, music. Music's a great healer. It's also a great stress buster. Play it in your car, play it at home, put your headphones on, yeah, chill out to some music. It in, instantly can lift your mood. Sound therapy. Uh, all right, what else does Capricorn need to know? All right, you've pulled Lapis Lazuri, so you might have some past life memories coming up. Um, don't push them down. The more you get this stuff out, the better it is in terms of uh, your own emotional well-being. You can recognise when those memories come up. Don't get stuck in them. Don't recycle them. Just go, hello, same old story. And keep going through if you like or if there's still some learning that you need to do just recognize that because you've also got the forgiving and learning card yes there might be some past life stuff you need to deal with to move forward mm. not only have you got bodies of water you've got mother earth dear side so this is all about balancing and grounding yourself connecting to nature and spirit it also means that you're a protector of Mother Earth. You've got a deep connection to Mother Earth. It's a place that uh, you find joyful, you find peace and serenity, yeah. Mm. Okay. Your foot's did night conflict. It's sitting under the guiding children card, so you might be having some conflict with your children. Your children might be having some conflict in their life, yeah. Uh, you're there to help them with it. Also, in terms of this is you, if you've got conflict happening in your world, um, stand up for yourself is the message. It's right next to don't back down, Bridget. Sometimes you need to roar like a lion. And you've also called clear quartz purification. I'm going to say to you, the purification is actually about your emotions mostly. But if you need to clean up some stuff around your health and wellness, your body, You've been over imbibing then june is the month for you to do that and start those uh, health and wellness practices mostly this is about purifying your thoughts so that you're in a positive state of mind i'm going to pull you one more what else does capricorn need to know mm. Nicole, uh, this is actually a master teacher card in this deck the ancient wisdom crystal. It means that you've come into this world with an inner knowing. Yeah, so it just things that you uh, you come in with skills and experience from your ancestors, past lives, stuff that you go. I just don't know how I know that, but I have an inner knowing about it. Yeah, that's what ancient wisdom is. Trust it. 
It also means that you've got that capacity to pass that wisdom on to others in whatever medium or manner that you uh, feel so drawn to do. So it could be writing, it could be um, through, uh, I'm going to say videos coming up, um, blogging, photography, whatever it is. It could be spiritual teaching it's coming through. Mm -hmm. Not going to apply to everybody. Okay, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from the uh, Energy Oracle deck and let's see what comes up for you, Capricorn. What is it you need to know in June? Mm, beautiful. You pull the Angel of Strength. Uh, this basically just means you've got everything within you. All your experiences, your challenges have brought you to this place of strength. Um, you can cope with anything, yeah. Um, if you're not feeling strong, just know within you that you have the, the reserves of strength there if you so want to tap into them. You've got the strength to encourage, ideally, to follow your dreams. Take a leap of faith. Yeah, so important. Take some time out for rest and rejuvenation this month, Capricorn. Put your feet up. You know, you're busy, busy, busy. Push yourself a lot. Um, take time out for self, yeah. Got so many messages here in terms of connecting to nature and spirit. All right, what else do you need to know? Okay, you've actually pulled woman holding a heart. It's actually in direct line to uh, flirting, dare I say, and taking a leap of faith with love. Uh, open your heart up to love. If you're female and you're a Capricorn, open your heart up to love. Um, for you guys out there, this is waiting for you if you so choose to get out there and flirt and have some fun. Um, put yourself out there. Gorgeous. Could actually meet them on a walk. I'm going to say that because out in the community, sitting under Mother Earth, to deep side, hmm, maybe join a walking club. All right, two cards have come out for you then. All right, over conflict. I don't want you to worry about it because victory is coming, okay? So if you've got any conflict happening in your life, uh, whether it's to do with legal system, whether it's to do with people around you in your circle, whether it's to do at work, if there's conflict, you're going to have victory over that conflict, yeah? If it's with your children, you're going to successfully guide them through, yeah? Trust yourself in that. Um... You've also pulled Angel of Balance. So this is balancing out your emotions, looking after your body. It's sitting under purification as well, clear quartz back around your emotions as well as your mind, body, spirit, yeah. Um, and forgiving and learning. You're going to find balance there, more balance in all aspects of your life. And take that time to balance yourself. You have to make it a priority if you want it to happen. Wow, okay. I'm going to pull a clarifier out on this, but you pulled the deceit card. Deceit could be in your love life, but often can be to do with self. Deceiving yourself about something that's not working well in your life. Deceiving yourself about perhaps something that you want to do that you're holding yourself back from. Uh, let's pull a clarifier out. What is the advice around that? What is the deceit card about? Okay, uh, there's some hostilities, there's some, um, in terms of deceit, there's some hostilities coming at you. It could be people being deceitful towards you. Hostilities are avert, so they're in your face, right? You might have deceit happening behind your back as well as in your face. Okay, doesn't really help us. Let's see what else comes out. I think we need more of a clarifier. What is the guidance on that? This is not going to apply to everybody, but just a heads up. Mm, okay. This is your guidance, yeah? If you've got deceit coming up, if you've got hostilities coming up, walk away from the situation. Don't engage with it. Um, you've got the message, don't back down. So that is standing up for yourself. Um, you can actually stand up for yourself and walk away at the same time. Often when you do this, you take the pressure out of the situation. You take any power out of the situation that people have over you. 
because they're basically left to argue with themselves, yeah? Just walk away from it. Go and, go and balance and ground yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your goals and dreams. Walk away from it. I have done that. It's so worked. It's so worked. So just bring your inner peace back, yeah? Absolutely. All right. I'm going to pull you some uh, crowning energy guidance from the Kunyin Oracle deck. What is it that Capricorn needs to know? You've also got the victory card. So if there is hostility coming at you, you're going to have victory over it. Yeah. So don't worry. Mm, okay. You pulled the veil of the shadows. About you, I'm kind of intrigued. Let's see. I'll show it to you one more time. What it says, Capricorn, is a lotus blossoms with deep, rich mud into which she plunges her roots and draws great nourishment. From this mud made of water and earth, growth happens and great beauty is revealed. Your soul lotus thrives through the depths of emotion and aliveness of your body into which she can plant herself and unfold as a lotus of light. Your soul lotus is blossoming, just like an out, a plant that has outgrown the pot in which it has been planted and requires more soil to spread its roots and continue growing, your soul lotus needs some more mud, some more water and earth energy so that it can grow and shine. In the spiritual worlds, all things serve everything, including our darker emotions and parts of our body that we may think are not acceptable. They are actually good nourishment for our soul. The soul craves to love and be in love with all parts of you. Like a passionate divine lover, it wants to hold nothing back and become completely spiritually intimate with all aspects and all parts of you, whether you have thought they were lovable or not. This can be challenging because it can feel extremely uncomfortable to visit and consciously engage with those aspects of our personality and our bodies that we are yet to really love and accept. Yet this is what you are guided to embrace now. This process might be started by taking class or engaging in physical practice that honours the shadow part of you. If you have considered yourself to be an introverted person, it might be to begin to honour that counter side of this, the part that needs community and people in order to thrive. If you consider yourself to be a quiet person, you might need to explore how you can find joy through sound, music and energy, for example. If you consider yourself to be a passionate person, you could find benefit from finding the part of you that is peaceful and content in the moment with things exactly as they are right now. The inner play isn't about saying who you are now is not enough. It is about acknowledging that you are the thing you believe you are not and finding a way to live it with consciousness and love. It is about delving into the parts of you that have been hidden in the veil of shadows and are now become ready to be revealed and lived as part of the beautiful and whole being that you are in truth. In particular, this oracle wants you to look at where you can nourish your emotional and physical life with more focus. Perhaps through art, creativity, journaling your dreams, creating collages or engaging in dance or other forms of movement. Your spirit needs it to thrive at this time. Wow. There's actually a healing activity here and I think it'd be worthwhile doing. It's all about becoming whole, isn't it? Acceptance of all parts of self, yeah? And what it says is, Sit with your journal and write down five things that you admire in another but do not believe that you have it within yourself. And do the same with five things that you dislike in another but cannot recognise in yourself. Say, through the grace of Kun Yin and with the healing purpose of nourishing myself into greater soul light now, show me how I can claim those lost parts of self and live them with consciousness and love. Take a moment to imagine how the beautiful light parts that you don't see in yourself could be given an opportunity to begin to grow. An example might be that if you love the skills that you see in another, you could commit to trying out some classes to see where your hidden talents lie. Take another moment to imagine how the dark parts you see and dislike in others 
could be recognised and forgiven in yourself and possibly turned into more consciousness expression. An example might be that rage could be turned into healthy anger that sets healthy, firm, loving boundaries. Acknowledge your courage in doing this work and take a moment to give thanks for your own efforts and the divine grace that will assist you on the journey to greater self-embodiment. Pretty cool. You can come back and do that, yeah? And there's an affirmation that's going to finish off your reading, Capricorn, and what it says is, I pray to Kun Yin, beloved spiritual mother, please help me be fearless and in the veil of the shadows, realizing that I am growing in self-awareness and whatever has grown ugly through lack of love will gleam like a polished jewel through my attention, willingness to love and accept all parts of me and my divinely inspired creativity in integrating this part of me into my life with more consciousness. Om Mani Padme Hum. May all parts of me be blessed. Om Mani Padme Hum. Pretty cool. All right, Capricorn, if you like this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome, yeah? I actually do read all the comments. I do respond. I will say, if you're going to be negative, I just don't do it on this channel, right? My channel is all about raising the positive vibration on this planet one person at a time. So if you're going to be negative, just pause, go and ground yourself, balance yourself, and then come back and listen to the message again, yeah? You're actually might possibly going to hear it then, yeah? All right. And for the rest of you, love you to bits. Um, take care. Now, don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and below. You know what to do. And if you want to win a personal reading with me, head over to my website, opt into the blog. It's free. Uh, it's a monthly draw, yeah? And the winners are announced at the end of every month or the beginning of the next month, yeah? All right. For now, much love, much light. Namaste. Namaste.